we each have between 30 and 40 trillion cells in our body, with each cell containing our DNA, special cell machinery and the nutrients to keep ourselves and us alive. But you may not have given much thought for the special protective layer around the outside, the cell membrane. The cell membrane holds the components of the cell inside and acts as a protective barrier from the outside, carefully letting certain things enter and exit the cell in a controlled manner. In this video, we're going to look at the wonderful cell membrane in more detail. If you look at a cell membrane under a microscope, you would see a mosaic of different molecules moving around in a fluid way. Hence, scientists describe how membranes look and act as the fluid mosaic model. Cell membranes are made up of three main things, phospholipids, cholesterol, and proteins. The phospholipid bilayer is made of individual phospholipids. These phospholipids arrange themselves into two layers, with their heads pointing outwards and their tails pointing inwards. Okay, but what is a phospholipid? The head is a phosphate molecule that has a slight charge, so is polar, and thus is attracted to water. They are hydrophilic, and the two tails are made up of fatty acids that do not have a charge, and so are nonpolar, and thus repel water. They are hydrophobic. This attraction and repulsion to water is why phospholipids arrange themselves into two rows in the cell membrane, water lovers and water haters. The membrane is exposed to water, mixed in with other things, on both the inside and outside of the cell, and so the water attracted heads face outwards with the water repelled tails hiding on the inside. Then there's cholesterol. This special molecule that's made in the liver regulates the fluidity and permeability of the cell membrane as it causes the phospholipids to stay closer together. And the third main molecule, the proteins. These come in different types. The integral proteins help transport large molecules across the cell membrane. Molecules can be transported in either direction, in or out, and they can go passively down their concentration gradient through protein channels or against the gradient, being actively pumped by protein pumps. The peripheral proteins are involved in communication and some transport. And the glycoprotein play an important role in cell recognition by the immune system. So what makes this model of the cell membrane so special? It's fluidity. It's a perfect balance so that the cell can move and substances can easily move across the membrane, but the membrane isn't too fluid. Otherwise, there would be no control over what substances enter and leave the cell, or the cell wouldn't be properly held together. So now you know what keeps our trillions of cells together, and all animal and plant cells too. This wonderful fluid mosaic of phospholipids, cholesterol, and different kinds of proteins. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.